What the hell is this? What? Dude. Of course, it's the spur. Jump. What? Look at gold man cowboy. Playing this game right is not as fun as playing this game wrong. Trample the buffalo! I don't understand why the majority of the introduction of this game is beating up on animals. I just killed the buffalo. Kill wolves. Good bad. This game is giving me a guilt trip. <laughs> well, I'm standing on a wall. That's probably the first thing that's going wrong in this scene. <laughs> well, there's a gold on the rack, but you got no pickaxe. You can't be mad on the wolf with no pickaxe. No, give me the option then, you fucking prospector. Money stats. Oh, take up jobs, eh? Oh, is that a wanted poster there? I don't think that sign's big enough. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Look at how big this saloon is. The fucking biggest saloon ever. <laughs> oh yeah, blonde haired hoe bag. He was real sweet on a girl that used to work here, Sadie. That's her picture above the bar. <gasps> I don't think Dr. Sadie would be too happy to hear that. Or to know that her picture's on the wall of a video game saloon. Oh! But she knows all about Sadie! I have to let her live! I know it's getting really exciting, but I gotta end it here. So, in my experience, I haven't played a lot of Western games. Now, there aren't a lot out there. But the few that are, there's a lot to be said about them. The story is always really intricate because back then the societies were all really corrupt and there's a lot of crime and such. But at the same time, it takes place in really plain surroundings, real deserty areas. There's a lot of nothing in between towns. So it's not exactly action packed. You have to go through a lot of dead space before you get to a town that has some action. Now, Gun as a hunting simulation, I think it's pretty great because like 98% of the time you're hunting animals and doing all of the training on animals, which to me seems like kind of a cop-out because it's not that many elements that you need to learn to it besides duck cover and like shoot. So it doesn't make sense that you would spend a majority of the beginning of the game doing that. So far, I know pretty much nothing about the story. I mean, there's some coin thing that I got. But that's pretty much all the information that I have so far to go off of. Not to mention the immense amount of time that we spent with Ned and Tom. I don't know what it is about like three letter words and names in this game, but... Gun, Ned, Tom. As a shooting game, it's very, very mediocre. It doesn't really introduce anything new. And the aim is incredibly forgiving. You could be way off and you'll still kill something. Which I'm not sure if it works for the game or against it but that is something to consider. The bullet time that they have in this game isn't new either. Red Dead Revolver, which came out like the year before, did something very similar. So if you're a Western lover, you're obviously going to enjoy this game. It has great sound effects and it feels very western -y. As far as the story, I don't really know where it's going to go. It may turn into something really riveting. I mean, I'm in the middle of a bar fight right now, so it could be the point where it picks up. But for the most part, it feels like you're just being pulled along rather than, you know, you're on the adventure. You know, it's like, oh, you can go here now, and then you go there. So th there's a lot of potential for this game. If it's going to live up to it, I don't know. It may turn out to be just as bland as the name of the game. I also might consider the fact that maybe it just hasn't aged well. It's been three years already, so maybe when it came out, it was a lot better than it is now. So now I'm going to go and consult the spirits about this game and also offer my apologies for killing so many of the land's animals in this game. A western game is not the ideal remedy for Necohontas, but all is not lost. Ultra Neko has made a video of the glitches and bizarre moments in Gun. Until next time, stay tuned and... 